Hi everyone, this is Dan and this is The uh, Mermaids by uh, Adam Post. Well, technically not really by Adam Post, it's a uh, script by uh, MJ uh, Negurella and uh, Stefan Petruccia. Uh, pencils and inks by David Lorenzo, uh, color by Esther Sanz. Uh, storytelling and layout designed by Chris Renkewitz, which uh, is important because, uh, I'll explain a little bit here, uh, created by Adam Post, right? So, uh, here's the deal. This book, uh, for those of you in the know, is essentially a repurposed webcomic. Uh, so it's a webcomic originally by Stefan Petruccia, David Lorenzo, etc. And what happened here is Adam Post basically, uh, at least this is my understanding, and again, if I'm wrong, please correct me. Uh, he basically purchased the rights to the webcomic and he sort of renamed and repurposed it as The Mermaids and then uh, basically repackaged it as this uh, graphic novel format. And he, he, the College of the Dead books that I did a while back are effectively the same thing as well. And back then I actually didn't know about this. I, I think it was a viewer or a commenter let me know uh, later about that this was actually what was going on before here. And I would say that my feelings about this are mixed. On one end, I don't necessarily think it is wrong or incorrect to buy a webcomic that exists, repackage it, and then resell it, right? I don't think there's necessarily anything uh, like illegal or incorrect about doing that. I think that's just a business, you know, uh, sort of deal, a business decision, right? And especially if it, you know, it's got a good case to it, like it's a webcomic that people just don't know about that might be pretty good being repackaged. I think it's probably, uh, you know, it could be a pretty good idea for the most part, right? Now, I do understand people's frustrations uh, about him, Adam Post, doing this because he technically was kind of a big part of Comicsgate. And Comicsgate was really a creator's sort of movement, and it was really about you know, the little guy, people who are just trying to create their first time effort, etc. At least for a while, it's not really, I would say that way right now, it's mainly a lot of ex-professionals getting into it uh, lately. Uh, but for a, for a good while, it was about creators making their own stuff, right? And technically, Adam Post didn't really make this, he just bought it and repackaged it. Now, here's the deal. Uh, there are a few things I would say are very wrong with this book immediately. So the first thing uh, right off the bat is you need the title here. Could be here, could be here, doesn't matter. The title must go on the front of the book. That's just me, you know, otherwise, and it's not even on the spine, by the way. So very weird that Adam Post did this. You don't actually know it's the mermaids until you open the book and it says the mermaids, right? So he really should have put this right here. Uh, and obviously on the spine as well. So point right there. The other thing is uh, he hired this guy, Chris Renkewitz, to basically relay out the webcomic, right? So it is originally from a webcomic format, which could be like a one panel or a two panel thing, meant to be basically scrolled up and down on your phone or on a computer monitor. It's not meant for print, right? So what he did is he hired a guy to basically take the uh, panels right here and basically break them into a layout format, uh, which by the way, I, I got to give this guy, Chris Renkewitz, uh, credit because this book flows and reads infinitely better than Adam Post's other webcomics turned books, uh, because of the relayout. I think this is actually a uh, pretty, like, I'm not going to lie. If you are a webcomic creator and you are thinking of repurposing your webcomic to go into print, you may want to like consider hiring this dude, Chris Renkowitz, because this is pretty damn. I, I'm just being objective here. Whatever you think about Adam Post and the other guys, this guy relayouting the book is actually pretty darn good, and I actually like it. The only negative is you are uh, so this is like in full bleed, pretty much everywhere, and that's okay. But we do run into an issue with full bleed in that these panels weren't necessarily meant for the print resolution uh, that, that he's printing that. So you can't, you might be able to see it right here, but like it, it's hard to tell in the video, but basically this panel right here looks clearly enlarged from what its original resolution is. And this is a function of the fact that there, 
the original artwork is done, you know, probably in Photoshop or whatever art program that the, because it's digital art, right? Whatever it is. And they will probably draw at best at 300 to 600 DPI. And then when you go to print, you only have a certain level of DPI that they can capture. And if you enlarge a panel that was clearly a lot smaller to a resolution that's not really at, you get a lot of artifacts and other weird stuff. And to be fair, uh, I think the layout guy uh, or whoever did the touch-ups did a pretty good job trying to do its best to kind of interpolate that enlargement that occurred uh, within this book. Uh, but yeah, to me personally, objectively, the guy who did the relayout of this webcomic did a very good job. Also, I'd like to say that the art is, uh, it's not bad. Like, whoever this dude is, uh, David Lorenzo, this is, uh, this is pretty ni nice art. Uh, it's digital, obviously, but I kind of like it. Uh, there's a lot of lack of backgrounds, uh, but to be fair, this was originally a webcomic, so I'm not really super, uh, bothered by the lack of backgrounds considering where the format was at. But I think the angles and the shots and everything and the figures are pretty cool. And then uh, the, uh, the, the different character designs and facial expressions are actually pretty nice in this book for the most part, right? Uh, but, you know, let's get to the story, right? First things first, I think uh, one negative that Adam Post did, and I don't know why he did this, because he actually made the right choice in, I think, one of his College of the Dead books, but then he changed his mind in this book and did something completely different. And that is he uh, he put his sort of uh, glossary, or is basically like, who are these characters, et cetera, et cetera, in the back. And the reality is he actually needed to put this, all of these basically, these are these characters, these are their backstories, etc., in the front. And the reason why he needed to do that, and he also needed to put pictures by every single one like he did in College of the Dead, is basically this book kind of opens up like a, like a play, right? Like, I don't know if you've like, you guys remember those old like school plays like with Shakespeare and whatnot. I'm not trying to compare this to Shakespeare. It's not, by the way. But they used to have like basically those intro pages in the Shakespeare playbooks where they would tell you all these characters. Oh, this is Hamlet. This is etc. Uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera, right? You know, and they would they would kind of get you uh, informed on the setting and the characters before Shakespeare basically throws you right in the middle of the the ocean right there when you're getting started. And because that's you know po no pun intended, this story here basically throws you right in the middle of the ocean, and you don't really get uh, a good character. Uh, character introductions or a good setting uh, to it. You just kind of get the lure of the world uh, as it's introduced to you, like these, you know, gods that existed and kind of essentially created the world of mermaids and whatnot. By the way, interestingly enough, the mermaids are a single sex uh, race. There are no, you know, mermen or anything like that. It's only just women and women uh, apparently can get each other pregnant, which is pretty interesting. And, uh, what follows is essentially a melodrama of like kingdoms of mermaids that are, I guess, queendoms, I don't know, of mermaids and sort of the infighting and uh, political backstabbing and uh, sort of uh, soap opera of these mermaids, uh, you know, in, in this fantasy world that they go, got going on. I'm not going to go too much into it because I'm going to be dead honest with you. You could always just find the original webcomic that this was based off it and read it for free. Uh, you know, what I will say is if you're into that kind of like a melodrama and soap opera and you like the art, uh, you know, definitely go check out the webcomic. Uh, as far as this book is concerned, like $25 is obviously way too much for a repackaged webcomic. And by the way, a repackaged webcomic that's not even the entire webcomic, it's, you know, to be continued, which is super lame, by the way. You know, do not do this. Like literally everybody out there, stop doing this. Just literally stop doing this. $25 for half a story is not correct. Stop it. Like you're not making, like manga doesn't even do this, right? They charge you like $9.99 and it might be in the middle of an arc, so it might be to be continued, but they give you way more than what this book gives you, right? So just heads up, stop doing it, right? So do I recommend the book? Uh, no, because I don't think it's a good value buy, but I think the concept, uh, and again, I'm not in agreement with what Adam Post did or, or the other stuff, but I think the concept of repackaging a webcomic that, you know, had some success, had some, you know, decent quality, a decent concept, right, 
into this print format, right? So breaking the panels down and kind of repackaging them in a way that looks good for print, right? And then putting them up on a crowdfunder. Uh, but I would say putting it up on a crowdfunder for the appropriate price, uh, I think is actually a really good idea. Uh, especially for, I would say, the original webcomic owners. Like the these two guys right here, you know, Petrucha, Dave Lorenzo, uh, MJ, these guys should have done this themselves, right? You know, I think that would have been uh, a really good idea because if you take a look at crowdfunded comic books, a lot of the most successful ones are actually repurposed web comics, which again, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't look down on web comics like some other people do. I think it's a totally valid art form. It does have its limitations, especially if you're going to translate web comics to print because what's easy to read on a phone and a computer screen is not necessarily very good for like a book in your hand, right? Uh, that's not me making up stuff. That's literally objectively, you know, an issue when you go from web comics to a book, right? Uh, but I think what Adam Post kind of did here, you know, whether you kind of agree with, you know, uh, the other aspects of all of this, I think this is actually a genuinely smart idea. And I know I might, I might get some flack for saying that, but I think it's actually kind of a, a unique idea. I think it would have been better if the original creators would have, you know, had the nerve to go do it themselves, but you know, whatever, you know, if, you know, it takes another person to kind of push out something like that, then that's fine. But yeah, uh, you know, this is not worth $25. I would say this is worth uh, considering, you know, the, the quality of it and, you know, the half story aspect of it, I would say this is about, you know, tops $9.99. You know, if this was like a comic in a comic book store, it'd be about $9.99, maybe, uh, you know, $7.99 is what I would say it would be, right? I wouldn't say $25 for this book, you know, for those of you who are interested. And really, you know, as far as the story is concerned, go look up the original webcomic and you can kind of read it yourself and see what you like. Uh, if you do like the production quality as far as like the print and the uh, the layouts and everything, you know, it might be interesting to take a look at this book secondhand. I'm sure there'll be maybe some stuff on the, the internet. I don't know, right? Uh, but yeah, no, I, you know, I, it's, people are probably expecting me to rip this harder. Uh, but to me personally, the original content and art is not bad. And the concept of repackaging web comics, I think, is actually not a bad idea. You know, I actually think it's for the way, original web comic creator, it's actually kind of a smart idea, if you ask me. Uh, but as far as everything else, eh, you know, definitely a pass, right? So, anyhow, that's the video, guys. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, hit the bell for notification. Uh, if you got any comments on the mermaids, uh, leave it down below, and I will see you next time.